Hello, I'm just going to make a brief video here to show how you might copy a DVD disk to make another copy uh, using Windows 7. Now, note that we're copying a, a homemade DVD disk. These are home, home movies. This is not a copyright, copy protected disk from the store. This is just home movies, and we need another copy to give to some friends and family. So, this is the one of the ways to do it. Windows 7 doesn't exactly come with a real easy copy this disk utility, although there are programs that you can download from the internet that will do that. But I'm going to show you how you can copy a DVD disk using what comes with Windows 7. Okay, so we're going to put our a disk into the drive and close the drive. It's going to take a minute to load. We'll see what pops up. Now your computer might be slightly different. Your computer might open Windows Media Player and try and play your disk. If that happens, just close, hit stop and close the Media Player. In my case, the autoplay window popped up and I don't want any of those options so I'm just going to close that with the X. Now I'm just back to my desktop but I do have a DVD in the drive that I want to copy. So we go over here to the lower left, click Start, go up to My Computer, go to the DVD drive right here, double click that, and we see that we have two folders, Video RM and Video TS. <clears throat> if you have more than two, that's okay. Just click one and hold the Control key control key and click the other, click them all, drag them and drop them onto your desktop right there. Drop on the desktop. This may take from several seconds to many minutes depending on how big your DVD is, depending on how fast your computer is. So we're going to take a little pause here and we'll be right back. Hi, we're back. After having copied the contents of the original DVD, onto the desktop you see we have two folders here video RM and video TS now remove the original disk from your drive and put a blank disk in your drive close the door and give your computer a couple of minutes to digest the idea that it's got a blank disk in there if it pops up some window offering to autoplay or any other window that pops up just close it click on your start button click on computer double click on DVD now my files are already there because I just tried this on my own but in your case go down here to your video RM and your video TS highlight them both drag them up drop them in the box you see now it says files ready to be written to the disk right there click burn to disk it opens a window and asks you if you want to have a disk title the default is the date and that's fine with me because you really don't see that title when you once you've got the disk made click next and you see that it says adding the data to the disk once you click burn to disk you'll get the little status box pop up with the green line saying that it's adding the files to your disk this is going to take several minutes depending on how fast your computer is and how much video you've actually got to copy so we're going to take a pause and come back once this disk is copied Okay, we're back for the final end. Um, after these have finished copying, you should have a usable DVD copy in your drive. You can take it out of your drive. I suggest you test it in your television DVD player. And if you need more copies for more cousins and aunts and uncles, just put in a fresh disc in your DVD recorder, close the drawer, close any windows that open, then once again, click on your Windows button, click on Computer, double click on the DVD drive and then just drag these two video RM and video TS folders drop them in the DVD drive window and then click burn to disk this should work I worked for me I hope it works for you and thanks for watching have a good day